Hi, I'm Camille Ross Kelly of Thimble Blossoms, and today I'm going to show you how to make my popular Swoon 16 block. My very first really big pattern that caught on was named Swoon, and uh, that block is 24 inches. It's, it's pretty big, and I had a lot of requests for a smaller one, so I came up with this 16 inch Swoon block. And this quilt is pretty fun because there are 16 16 inch blocks and they're made from 16 fat quarters. So it's kind of special that way. I'm going to show you how to put together one of those blocks and we need three fat quarters to do that. Three fat quarters would also make three blocks, but we're just gonna make one today. All right, so to get started, you're going to need the pattern, which is available from Fat Quarter Shop in both paper and PDF format. It will give you all of your cutting instructions, and once you get them all cut out, you can lay them out just like this with your alphabeties, and we're ready to get started. All right, so the first thing we are going to do, we're going to take one of the D squares and one of the H squares, and we're going to make a half square triangle. This scotch tape I found at Target is my very favorite to mark my sewing machine. I uh, simply cut off a piece of it and I attach it right at the edge of my quarter inch seam all the way down my table. So when I make a half square triangle, I can line that up along the edge of that tape. And that's why I'm gonna go all the way down. And then I'm gonna flip it around and come back See, lining, again, lining it up. The point goes right at the edge of the tape. And no need to mark, which is one of my favorite things. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how to trim those up. So here are my two half square triangles I got from those two squares. And my one of my very favorite tools uh, to sew with is the block lock ruler. I have the six and a half inch version. And um, I like this one the most because I can use it for small half square triangles or big ones. It works well for me in a wide range of sizes. All right, so I'm going to trim this up to two and a half inches. And when you use the block lock, if you're not familiar with it, you line up this groove on the back with the seam on, on your block. And you can see that there's a little bit of extra fabric all the way around that two and a half inch mark. And I'm just gonna trim that up really quick, flip it around, and do that again. And you can see you get perfect half square triangles when you use this, I love it. One of my favorite tools. And we will link that below so you can get one if you don't already have one. All right, so now that I've got my half square triangle trimmed up, I'm gonna set those aside. And the next section we're going to make is a flying geese unit. So to make our flying geese unit, we're going to need one G piece and two C's, and we're going to add the C square to the G rectangle, um, and we're going to stitch along the middle of this. Now, if you don't have the tape on your sewing machine, you can draw a line and stitch along that line, or if you're using uh, the tape on your machine to, to mark your quarter inch seam, then you can do that too. So I'm going to add it to one side, and then open and press, and then trim out the, the back of this. I trim both layers. And then it will look like that. Then we're gonna add it to the other side, open and press and do the same thing. And you're going to have one flying geese unit that looks just like this. Once you sew that together, you'll have your finished flying geese unit. You'll need four flying geese units and you will also need eight half square triangles. So keep track of that as you go and make sure you have enough. Again, all of this is in the pattern with lots of diagrams and instructions that will help you keep everything straight. All right, so once you have your floor flying geese, set those aside, and then we're going to make uh, our little corner uh, large units of the block. Um, for this one, you're going to grab one A piece and two Fs. And you're going to add these just like you would for a flying geese unit. You're going to add one in the top corner here, stitch along the line and open and press. Then open and trim out the back. Then add the other square to the other side. And that's going to give you this section here. And you'll need four of this section for each block. All right, so now we have Three, three of the units that we need in order to put the block together. This next one is a little bit trickier, so I'm gonna walk you through that. Uh, for this block, you are going to start with one A piece, 
and 1F. And you're going to make sure it's right sides together. Then you're going to draw a line or stitch along that diagonal line and open and press. What I love about this tape is that there are multiple lines on the tape. So not only can you use the edge of the tape to sew uh, your, your half square triangles, you can also use the middle of the tape to sew um, down the center of your blocks. So if I go down, you can see that it's lining up here along that line. I'm just gonna stitch all the way down. And then we're gonna press this. I like to press first and then trim. So I'm gonna press that and then we'll trim the back of it out. I normally wouldn't use my block lock for this, but it was the closest one handy. So just like that. So you're going to add three of those. You're going to add one white one and then on the two sides of the white square, you're going to add two more E pieces, just like this. Got my hands full here to create one unit. Now I have that unit here. I can show you what it looks like. All right, so this is the fourth unit. So you have half square triangles and flying geese, this last one we made, and, and give that one a good press. You're going to need four of this unit as well. So now that we have all of our sections made, we can set aside the remaining fabric, which you would use in yours. You won't have extra fabric. And now all we need are the two uh, white pieces, which are G and F, and those are still remaining. So we have several sections here that we've made. Those are our four units that, that we've assembled. And now we're going to put those together to create the, the block. So the first one that we're going to make, I have to make sure I get this one right, is this section just like this and you can see it on the quilt behind me how that uh, comes together. So we're going to sew this together, right sides together, just like that, which will give us one of these. And we're going to make four of those from our flying geese and that first unit that we made. And then this one is just a little bit trickier so I'm going to show you that. We're going to take this piece and our two half square triangles and we're going to lay it out just like this. And again, it does show you how to put this together in the pattern if you have any questions. I am going through it kind of quickly for a difficult block. And so it's gonna come together just like that. I'm going to take my half square triangle and sew it right sides together to this square. And then I'm gonna do the same on the half square triangle and the rectangle. So I'm gonna sew both of those together. And then once I do, let's see then it, your block will look like this. So this is the square and the rectangle and the two half square triangles. So this is one of those corner units. So now that I have these two pieces, you can kind of see it start to come together. I'm gonna to show you how to lay out the block. And this is the fun part. I'm gonna need one of the squares that I laid out in the beginning, the red one, there's only one, like that one, and that one's gonna go right in the center, and you can just kind of see the block start to appear. Isn't that pretty? I love this block so much. So now that we have our sections, you can see again, it's just these two sections that we put together and then this center square. I'm gonna sew this in three rows of three and then sew the rows together to create the quilt block. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And just like that, you have your finished Swoon 16 block. I would love to see your Swoon 16 blocks and I'd love to sew along with you. Um, if you want to make this Swoon block, tag it, hashtag FQS Swoon along and we would love to see any of the blocks that you make. And we also have a little swoon enamel pin that goes along with the block. If you want to pick one of those up, we'll tag that below. Thanks so much for sewing along with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time. Be sure to check out our other videos on the Fat Quarter Shop YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.
Mm-hmm.